I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm really enjoying this new 14-inch MacBook Pro. This thing is crazy. So I'm gonna answer you guys' questions about music production. So let's get to it. Bolo! All right, so we're back on the 14 inch MacBook Pro. If you have not seen my first video, go ahead and click on the card somewhere here on the screen. I'm really enjoying this computer. It is a 14 inch model with the upgraded M1 Max chip, 64 gigs of RAM and four terabytes of storage. This thing is a complete beast. It is the best computer I've ever used. I don't know about you guys, but the best computer I've ever used. A lot of you guys have had some production questions and you wanted for me to answer those questions for you since I'm using this computer. So I'm gonna go ahead and of course, try to answer everything to the best of my ability. I don't have everything pretty much set up in here yet. I have about 50% of all of my programs and stuff on here, but so far, this thing is actually pretty cool. Can't lie. The first question everybody wants to ask is the mic. Yes, I am using the internal mic right now. I'm not using no other mic. I'm not using nothing. As you guys can see, my camera is in the background and it has the mic on there. I am using the internal microphone and everything right now is being recorded through OBS. So it sounds really good even through OBS, even though it's basically compressed down and even YouTube's gonna do some compression. But as you guys can see, this mic sounds very good. I'm about this far away from the computer. So here to there, yeah. And as you can see, the mic sounds very good. I don't have any compression. I don't have anything on it. It is just basically just the mic by itself. So yes, this thing is dope. Number two, people ask me, how does it sound with the bare dynamics and other headphone sets that have a higher own value it sounds great i hear everything great on these headphones they're not extremely extremely loud but they are very much louder and very much more powerful this output this headphone jack has a tremendously good output i've hooked it up through my system i've done a lot of tests with it between when i first opened this thing up until now and i'm telling you right now this headphone jack can rival a lot of sound cards and a lot of audio interfaces. I'm telling you right now, this thing sounds really good. The speaker system on here sounds great. It's not that big of an update from probably the last generation of Mac laptops, but the speakers on here sound really good, very detailed speakers on here. I'm not gonna go into all the full specs, there's other videos with that, but the speaker system on here sounds incredible. Also, not necessarily music production related, the camera. The camera on here works great. Camera works fine. As you guys can see, I'm looking pretty decent and this is all going through OBS. So it actually looks better without it being like downsized and everything like that. But the camera on here is great and they do have a new update for this to where the camera will have like better bokeh in the background and all that stuff like that. But as you guys can see, the camera is great. So what I want to do right now is go into Logic Pro and I have a few plugins already in here and I have a few virtual instruments in here and I'm going to go through and show you guys that even on the new operating system, the Monterey, that most of the big boy plugins work. Some of the newer plugins, they don't work, but most of the big boy stuff works. So let's go ahead and go to Logic right now. All right, so now we are in Logic Pro X, the new 10.7. And I'm telling you right now, this is probably the best program to use on this computer. I'm gonna do other programs in the future, but today we're just gonna focus on Logic. And some of you guys wanted to know when I was doing my first test on my first video, when I had like the 30 tracks of MIDI and I was trying to show you guys that the computer actually worked very well under those harsh conditions, you want to know how many cores I was using. Well, when I'm actually using Logic, I do not change certain cores. I just leave it on recommended. So as you guys can see, I'm actually using the Black Hole 2 channel because I'm actually using OBS to record everything. As you can see, my processing threads, I just leave it on automatic. This is the exact setting I had the other day and as you can see my IO buffer size is at 128 so I ran that whole session while OBS was going on at 128 um, samples that's pretty much it so as you can see I had it on a very 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 low setting for that to handle all of that so for you guys who want to know 
I don't set the core as well like that. I just leave it on automatic and everything works fine with that. So another thing that you guys want to know is if certain plugins and certain uh, instruments work. Well, I'm here to tell you that most of the big boy companies like, you know, Native Instruments, Waves, um, Arteria, Korg, stuff like that, their plugins and their virtual instruments do work. Right now, I actually have the Arteria um, what do I have on here? I have the Mini 3 right now, and that's working fine. I just loaded some of my native instruments. I didn't load everything else up, but as you guys can see, they pulled up and they work fine. So, like, I'm going to open up Massive. Um, as you can see, I don't even have the presets and nothing loaded yet, but it does work. Everything does work in here, and, um, like, it's cool. So, if we play... Everything is working fine in here. I just got to go through, you know, if you get these plugins, you got to go through and then make sure everything's updating, which is actually updating right here, right now. So yes, those work. Let's go to something else. Right now, as you can see, Korg. Everything in the Korg collection works fine. Let's go ahead and go to the Trident right here. Um, wait, this to pull up and let's go ahead and see if this Trident sounds good. <laughs> works fine so everything in the core collection works and let's go ahead and see um about arteria of course i just said that worked let's go into this uh juno 6 right here nope and let's see works fine even though this is in monterey or monterey that's what you call it what's it called let me see yeah, it's called uh, OS Monterey. And as you guys can see here, my specs for this. So I'm not tripping. You guys are like, oh, there's no such thing as an Apple M1 Max 14 inch. Yes, it is. So as you guys can see, here it is. Real deal. No BS. Yeah, everything works very good in Logic. And I haven't recorded in it yet. You know, I keep saying how good this mic is. And I'm almost very sure you can get a very good recording out of this mic inside of this computer. What was one more thing? Oh, somebody asked me about Fab Filter plugins and they want to know if Fab Filter was working on here. So let's go. Fab Filter works. My Fab Filter plugins work. Here goes the Pro L2. It works. Everything works in here. And you know, most of this stuff is actually working off the Rosetta 2. So some of these plugins are running through Rosetta and they are working fine. And I really can't wait till some of these programs really work natively because we're really going to get a lot of juice out of that. Um, let's go to one more company that I really like to use. Uh, let's see here. Baby Audio. I love Baby Audio. I didn't put all the plugins in here yet, but as you can see, Super VHS, boom, works fine. Everything's working good in here. Everything is good. That works good. One thing that does not work that I put in here is any of the air technology stuff has not worked, which is kind of a bummer because I'm a huge expand fan. And that's just, it's kind of a bummer. Now, the crazy part about it is all this stuff shows up. So if I go to instruments and it says air music technology, this shows up, the mini grand shows up, all this, but um, the DB33 mini grand expand, it shows up, but doesn't work. I don't get it. Maybe it might be something with the software developer or whatever. I know that's supposed to work with Big Sur, but with this new operating system, it just hasn't really gotten to it yet. And even when using Rosetta, it hasn't worked either. I want to do like a quick video today to show you guys that most of the stuff works. The wave stuff, that's not gonna be in a problem. Um, as you can see, Fab Filter stuff works. I'm gonna go ahead and load up sound toys and everything else. And I'm actually gonna try to do a whole project on my next video, but I want to do this quick video just to show you guys that yes, Logic Pro is working fine and well, as you guys seen from the first video. And now you can see that certain instruments are working. And dealing with cores, this thing will basically pick the correct amount of cores to use to optimize your projects. Now, over the time, I'm gonna do a few more videos showing you guys about Logic and about doing the whole 3D audio and all that stuff like that. But as of right now, we're just doing the technical side just to show that everything is working fine and the CPU on this laptop can hold everything 
great. I mean, this thing is just a beast of a computer and I'm not even having this thing plugged up. Like I'm really just using just the battery on here and everything is going through OBS. I didn't have to change any settings in OBS. Everything is working fine, no problems. So what I might do for the next video is actually make a beat on here. Once I get all my sounds and everything in here, I'm probably gonna make a quick beat just to show you guys how efficient this thing is and how it can hold a very hefty load with all your sounds or whatever. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Make sure you guys comment on this video. Make sure you hit that post notification bell so you guys will know when I have another video available. And if this video was you know, helpful to you guys, go ahead and hit that thumbs up if you like it. If you do not like it, go ahead and hit that thumbs down. As you guys already know, I really don't care. So I hope this video was very informative. I hope you guys learned something from it. And like I always say, peace out.